Hello, hello. What's going on, Jason? Welcome, welcome. We're going to do a question and answer, and we seem to be streaming in a very good way. Yeah, it's working now. Um, it's working. The good news is I am on OBS. Hey, Haley. Thank you. Morning, Steve-O. Lamar. Glad some of y'all are finding some value in the stuff that I publish. I had so much trouble doing this last night. I'm, s I'm currently streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok all at the same time. And I had a nightmare trying to get this to work last night, but it seems to work now. I think I pinpointed it down to a specific thing. What's going on, Theo? What's going on, Jalen? All right, let me just take care of one thing. Looks like we got a pretty good crew here. Uh, Sean asks, Jeff, should you edit TikToks on the computer for higher quality? Is it important? You don't definitely don't have to. Like I've had a couple. Basically, every everything I've ever published w has been from my phone, and I've had a whole bunch over a million views. So you definitely don't have to. Uh, get those questions in chat. I'm, um, best hashtag strategies. I like to just go relevant, just go relevant, fill it up. Um, yeah, I just go relevant and fill it up. I have been experimenting like with one little strategy of, of taking. Like if you don't have any, there's no way you can get like a three or four or five word letter um, relevant hashtag. I have been experimenting with throwing in an irrelevant trending hashtag if in that particular situation. So that's a new thing I'm experimenting with. Um, yeah, because if you've got just kind of a longer thing going on, I'd rather you do something than nothing. Or I'd rather you do something like that than FYP. That's kind of a new thing that I'm, that I'm um, planting in people's heads. You know what I'm saying? Um, Revengey asks, how do you do the text on, on your stream? So I'm testing this platform called Lula. It's lula.tv, L-O-O-L-A dot TV. Now I'll tell you this, it's a pain in the butt to get this thing to work. Like I have been, uh, basically for like two hours last night, I was just beating my head against the wall trying to figure out, but I think I pinpointed the problem. Um, it's just, you can stream to like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. But something, I think something's up with the Instagram and Twitter because the only way I can get this thing to work is if I disable those two. Javaru asked, does deleting comments affect the algorithm? Um, I guess it could. No one's ever asked me that before, actually. But, I mean, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Uh, you know, probably not much. But I've deleted comments I just didn't want my community to see. Um, just sometimes somebody's been 
a little bit too spammy or saying something um i don't know just saying something really really annoying or obnoxious i'll get rid of it but like i won't delete criticism i won't delete people who are hating usually i'll, I'll but i'll delete something that's like i don't know that i like something very adult that i wouldn't want a kid to see i guess um uh, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. So what we're going to do is the biggest gifter is going to get an account review on my main channel. Um, which is pretty special because I don't really sell these. Th there's no way you can get it outside of this or being in my ongoing consulting. Um, but even the people in my ongoing consulting like my paid consulting don't get to go on my main channel. So the biggest gifter is going to have a, an account review on my main channel where, you know, my 65,000 people, you'll you'll have, you know, potentially see them. Uh it'll be it'll be viewed at least uh, a couple thousand times. Quite honestly, much more. So um I'll tell you the top 3 things I think you specifically need to be doing. And then everybody who's in the top 3, don't fret, I'll give you a follow and I'll DM you some tips for your own account. So um, but the biggest gifter will get an account review on my main channel. All right, Dane thinks he's going to win. Um, getting things started. All right, uh, do I think long video, 30 seconds to one minute videos can be successful? I mean, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the challenge is keeping somebody's attention for that long. Um, I think even a Zach King would have trouble with keeping somebody's attention for that long. So how are you going to do it? You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's a lot harder to keep some somebody's attention for that long. But if you can figure it out, you'll dominate. But very few have. So that's why I tell people start with eight seconds because you're probably not that good at keeping somebody's attention for a long period of time just yet. Why don't we get many people on our lives? Good question, Shoshana. And I don't know how many followers you have um, yet, but um, I would venture to guess that you probably don't have a lot of followers, right? So if you only have a thousand followers, I wouldn't expect more than one, uh, maybe 10 max, but like you're probably gonna be in the one to four, one to three or four range, unless you've got a really, really like dedicated, small but dedicated community. But if you've done a lot of follow for follow just to get yourself to a thousand followers, I'm not saying you have, but in case you have, right, um, you're going to probably not get that many people at all, if anybody. So um, keep that in mind. Uh oh, Steven, want, wait, Steven's coming back for more? Didn't you win like a couple, like a week or two ago? <laughs> he wants that. He wants another one. Whoa, Steven. Jeez, he's ready for that follow up review. Hey. That's a satisfied customer right there. Steven won um, a review, um, what, a week or two ago? And now he's he's throwing a bunch of gifts in. He wants to win again. So if that's not proof that this stuff is effective or, or valuable, I don't know what is. I'm very rich by Pharrell, forever. You're hype girl. That's what's up. I, I, oh, my. Um. I just thought of a potential issue. Um, hold on. Since I'm streaming this, since I'm streaming this through another platform, it's not going to give me that top three at the end. So, um, I'm going to have to, I'm, I may have to keep a note of this. Hopefully, I think this chat log is going to be saved at the end. We'll figure it out. We should be fine. I, I'm pretty sure this chat log gets saved at the end. Um, but just in case it's not, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking notes. Hold on, let me get my let me get my notepad out. This is just a little bit of a test on this uh, on this multi streaming platform at the same time. So, all right, let me make sure I get everybody everybody who's gifted, especially the big the big um, the big gifts. And by the way, I, I, if if you asked a question and I didn't reply, it's it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just that there there is a lot of chat. Uh, going on so if I missed your question um, I'm streaming with the red bars via lula.tv it's a multi streaming platform so I'm, I'm experimenting with that
Sorry, I'm just I'm just taking notes. Hold on. All right, we got Stephen Bowling who sent one I'm very rich and one concert. We got Forever Your Hype Girl with one I'm very rich. Let's see who else gave me a donation. Just just making notes here. I don't want anybody to 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 feel like they get missed over. Uh it seems to be working, Dusty, thanks. All right. Uh, I know somebody sent some rainbow pukes earlier. Who was that? Haley Hoffman Smith sent an I'm very rich. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said I helped them grow to 17k. Go Saints. Let's go Hadley. I like that. Let's go. Oh, we got another I'm Very Rich by Forever Your Hype Girl. Okay, so that's two for you, right? Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare if I have to if I have to keep track of this. So that's one. Yeah, we got, we got some testing to do. Because one thing I like about streaming directly on TikTok is it tells you at the end the top three. That makes it really easy to do my job. <laughs> Why are cosplayers being suppressed? Em Emily says, you know, I don't know that they are. I think maybe people just aren't interested in necessarily seeing somebody dressed up in a costume, sitting there, um, like pretending to be the character. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I think maybe it's based on, I don't know. I think maybe it's just based on, like, attention. So I would really be honest with yourself. Take a look at your average view percentage duration. I'm sorry, your average view duration percentage? And like, are people watching to the end or are they not? Like, if they're not, then they, maybe the content just isn't that exciting. Um, I don't know. How How is cosplay doing as, as a whole, you know? I, I don't know. Haley Hoffman-Smith with another IVR. Stephen Bowling with another IV. Two more IVRs. Let's go. Steven's wanting that. <laughs> Ellie Hoffman Smith. It's a second IVR for you, I believe. That's what's up. All right. Haley Hoffman Smith. At Haley Hoffman Smith. I'm just making sure I got everybody. I don't want anybody to slip through the cracks. Another uh, I'm very rich for Donnie, aka Forever Your Hype Girl. <sighs> Sorry. You're going to watch my videos. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Okay, Robin asked, do you get money for what they sent you? Yeah, so you get about, what, $10 US-ish? Well, I don't know, because cause actually TikTok takes about 50%. So, like, if they, buy a, if they buy me a gift that's worth 10 bucks, I only get, like, five of it or something like that. All right, Daniel, sending a panda through. At Daniel.Labelle. Panda, thanks for the panda. Um, Adam asks, we do health, nutrition, nutrition, fitness, lifestyle education. How can we better grow? Uh, I would probably just... I think you have to niche even further, probably, because there's a ton of people who do the same thing so like what's that special thing that that you kind of specialize in is it you know over 30 over 40 is it people who are maybe not even male or female like i think you need to go even further so like niche down even further like healthy lifestyle for x you know entrepreneurs health, healthy lifestyle fitness for you know x Haley, two more rainbow pukes thank you make a note of that 2x RPs. <laughs> I would say uh, Dane. Dane is asking on TikTok how is how important is finding a niche? I'd say very important. Donnie with another IVR. Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I think Donnie is in the lead with four. I'm very riches. So just just putting that out there. So uh, Stephen, you were close with three. I'm very riches and one concert, I believe. Um, 
if it lets me, I'm gonna reach Ali. I, I you know, I, I just don't, I'm not, I don't know. There's, it's possible I missed something. Um, where do I get my info from experience and listening to other people? Um, I've grown from basically z zero following to why is my hand blue? <laughs> Don't weren't supposed to see that. Uh, my hand my hand is blue because I was helping my my daughter with her. Um, she got a homework assignment to to do a um, what do you call it when you bury a box full of information? You sent four IVR in one concert. Okay. Uh oh, you're close. Okay, four, one. Okay, making a note of that. And I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm, if it lets me, I'm gonna run through. So basically, my hand is blue because I was helping my daughter with her homework assignment, which involved coloring your hand blue with a marker, and then everybody in our family would put our hand down on a piece of paper. Another IVR for Forever Your Hype Girl. What's up? I think that's five for you. Um, Tommy asks, what are the best times to post in the UK, please? Um, I'll tell you this. Like, right now is, is peak for me. We're, you know, maybe two hours past peak. Um, and so, <laughs> right now is a little bit past peak for me. If you, if you go to pro mode, you go to analytics, you go to followers, you can kind of see how, how your followers dip and dive. So that seems to, uh, and I think a good way to test how many of your people are online is to, is to do a live and see how many people show up. When I go live around this time or a little bit earlier, I get a lot more people than when I go live a lot later. So I think that's kind of a little test you can do is go live, see how many people show up, um, and then you'll, you'll kind of know how accurate that thing is. But it seems to be roughly more or less accurate. Um, for me, it's like, it's 8 a.m. my time. Now, on the little follower thing, it's UTC time, so it says 1 p.m. I believe, I'm not 100% sure of that, but that's that's the way I believe it's set up. Um, Steven with another concert. What's up? And some more TikToks and an Italian hand. And a rainbow. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Steven. I... I, I Hold on, I'm trying. Steven, if you could just tell me what you just sent through. <laughs> That's how I have to keep up. I really hope I can go through this. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if I'm doing these contests, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream on this platform. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Gail throwing her hat in the mix. IVR, another IVR for Donnie. Whoo wee, we got ourselves a bidding war. Yeah, I ha I have been getting more playful in my videos. That's for sure. Um, let's get those questions in. I want to answer some questions. Okay, Maddie, why are views down, and how do I fix it? Um, I'll tell you this: my views are are, are down too. Like I'm feeling. These last few days have been a little bit, uh, I don't want to say brutal, but it's weird. Like, it, it just seemed, la yesterday evening, everything just dropped off. But I know that, just from experience, these things happen. Like, there's just bad days of TikTok. So, my question to you is, like, you know, is this something that's been happening for uh, days? Or, you know, hours? Days? Weeks? Months? You know, so it's it's one of those things. But just know... Just know you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days that feels like your entire channel is dying. Um, but at the same time, you flipped it before you page right now today. You see a lot of really good stuff. Like, it's just like, whoa. All right, we're competing with people who spent days planning and creating and filming a video. And we're and we're doing these little 30-second tiddly wings, which can work. And, and a lot of times, um, some of the most successful videos just kind of look like they were done on a whim or whatever. Um Uh, are they trying to make updates to the app? Yeah. Yeah, they're always making updates to the app. They just updated. They're trying to make this. I mean, this this app is far behind in terms of features. Like, there's a lot of features they that YouTube has that TikTok doesn't have and Instagram has. Just little things like um, the reason I'm pushing people to my to my Instagram DMs over TikTok DMs, um, one, so they can maybe follow me on, on Instagram. But number two, they have this little feature 
where you can kind of um, template your responses. So I don't have to sit there and type because I get a lot of DMs. So I don't have to sit there and type the same thing over and over and over again. Well, that's just a little thing that I, I would like TikTok to have. And then if you've ever if you've ever streamed on YouTube, you know that they have little um, all kind. Of, they have this whole YouTube studio where you can like go in depth and look at stats in a, in a, in a much more in depth way than you can on TikTok. So speaking of YouTube, I'm about to p I'm I'm streaming to TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube right now. So I'm about to make that. YouTube stream public because I was kind of in testing mode earlier. Now I'm in official streaming mode. All right, so I'm going to scroll down and make sure I didn't miss anybody's donations. Donnie with another IVR. Whew, I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to miss somebody's. I, I really am. So um, hopefully y'all are keeping track of how much you're donating and the honor system <laughs> too. Please don't lie about gifting. Um, you're at 14k now. Congrats, Ms. F. Uh, Steven, that's stealing. W I don't know what somebody said. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, what's happening here. Oh, 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 I see. So, because Steven had asked, do you think reposting a viral with new hashtags and trends is beneficial? Uh, it you know, I, it can it can kind of supplement things, you know. It can certainly supplement things. So I would potentially, you know, maybe once in a while it can be okay. Um, I, you know, it's not something I had that much exper experiment, I'm sorry, experience with, though. Uh, t so as a reminder, the top gifter will get an account review on my main channel, which will be seen by at least a couple thousand people, hopefully a lot more, possibly, potentially. Top three will get a follow from me, um, and I'll DM you some some custom tips. So I will do an account review, except it just won't go on my main channel. I will DM you the tips, and that's why you want to be the top. Um, you know, if if you're trying to get your account seen by a lot of people, um, you might want to be the top gifter. Which it looks like Donnie is in the lead. I could be wrong about that, but um, uh. DM me anybody who's gifting a lot and you think you're in the top three DM me which with what you think you sent and I will I will double check it but um, Okay, Derek has done his research. I like it. I like it when people scroll through my account and, and they really see how how things have pivoted so Derek says you don't you really didn't find your niche until November from looking at your videos so I would say you're right you know, when if you scroll down, and I was on TikTok like with my kids, um, doing like little random videos for like a couple years, very very infrequently. Really, I was just kind of keeping trying to keep an eye on, on what they were doing. Come October and November, I started posting just kind of whatever I wanted, which would be like sports videos or like I even threw my hat in like um, the dad niche. I, I guess I was doing like the dad approach to like some of the the trending things that were happening on TikTok and then um and then I uh, and then I kind of struck gold a little bit with um this one video where I just I was at the gym I picked I picked it up and I said uh the guy who swung the helmet at that guy you know when he was mad could have could have killed him honestly and I was like dude this is this is ridiculous kick this dude out the league and I I knew it would kind of trigger uh, a response and, and sure enough it did it got a couple thousand views and then I made another video, I think the next day, saying, "Well, this is why I care about player safety." I showed a picture of my son, and I coach his, uh, my blue hand, uh, and I coach his, his sports team. So I was like, "Well, th this is the reason I care." And, I sh I sh and then that one got a hundred something thousand views, and then um, that was kind of the, the thing that got really got me addicted. Like, oh my god! And then I don't think I got another good video for like a month. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh man," because I was just posting random stuff. There was no niche. I was like. <laughs> We were out camping. We were doing little skits, and um, and then and then I think it was a cooking video, maybe that was my next vi my actual first viral video, which got into the millions. It was a cooking video where it was like um, a chicken breast. I, I recently reposted it, so that chicken breast video that I posted like yesterday, the day before, was my first viral video that hit millions of views. Donnie with another, I okay, Donnie, IVR, Steven, IVR, 
two wait two IVRs. Okay, Steven and Donnie both put. <laughs> wait, Donnie put three IVRs. If, if I'm seeing this right, IVR, IVR, IVR. <laughs> Man, y'all are. And by the way, like I have, uh, if you if you're considering spending more than a couple IVRs on an account review, I would recommend reaching out to me about my uh, my group coaching because it's not that much more money. Like my group coaching is 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 pretty affordable if you're if you're actually looking to invest in your TikTok growth. Reach out to me about my group coaching because it's not that much money. Um, especially if you're if you're planning on putting a lot of money down here. Star Wars headphones rock. Well, uh, these aren't Star Wars. These are Astros. How you doing, Laurie? Am I busy, busy, or just busy? Uh, I'm busy, busy, because I have a whole business to run. Um, TikTok is is kind of starting to inject itself into my business. You know, I've got I've got some some paid consulting that I'm doing to make some money there, and uh, I've got some group coaching that's that's been going pretty well. Um, somebody in our group coaching got their first video over 5,000 views, and you know it's it's now over 30,000 views. So that's pretty exciting to see some success there. Uh, Minais asks, "How do I get more views?" Well, easiest thing to tell you is go into my TikTok bio, download the guide, and then um, and then follow the directions there. And then if you struggle from that point. It's probably something having to do with your average view duration percentage. Because that's probably the number one thing. People are just like making videos that are too long or they just, maybe not too long, they're just too boring. That's the number one thing. Whether you're, whether or not your video looks bad or below average or average or above average, you got to get people watching to the end. So I've seen low quality, low production quality videos have success. Um, and I've had high, I've seen high production quality videos not have success so it's like is your video entertaining at the end of the day um, and if you have success with below average production quality it's not going to be because of the production quality it's going to be despite of the production quality Dimitri asks will deleting vids affect your future views it could but uh, we don't know for sure um, a lot of people think that pr uh, deleting might hurt your account I haven't seen any proof but just to be safe, I private instead of delete, and I haven't had any issues. In fact, when I've been reposting, I've been just leaving the old ones up because I haven't been reposting anything that's within a month old anyway. Donnie, I see you with the IVR. Another one from... Awesome. Steven, is the F4F trend finally dying out? Well, I know the people who were doing those hype parties were getting a lot of backlash. Like, some of the people who are kind of well-known for it um, told me, like, behind the scenes, because I'm friends with some of them, they told me um, people were reporting them for, like, doing, like, adult content and getting their um, their lives banned. So they're, they're... So I guess the community's fighting back. Like, people are getting... People are sick of it. People are sick of, like... Um, some of these people growing extremely fast and at the same time um they're kind of they're kind of selling like a false hope and, and potentially hurting people's accounts like if, if you have too many follower for follow follows those people aren't going to engage with your content it could hurt your account so it's kind of like their accounts grow exponentially they, they get all these crazy amounts of gifts and they're kind of selling they're, what they're offering is kind of hurting people in a way, or it could potentially be hurting people. I don't know. So I think that we're sta we're starting to see some self policing from the TikTok community about those, the hype and the uh, the TikTok, um, follow for follow type stuff. Uh, Raven says I was banned for underage. I'm 46. Well, people, yeah, that's weird. I, and I've gotten banned too for something that didn't make sense. Um, one of my first streams was I was banned for 24 hours for copyrighted material. And all I was doing was playing NBA 2K. So it's like, what? It just doesn't make sense. TikTok is kind of the wild, wild west. Not only in terms of like opportunity, but it's like... This platform is still kind of in its infancy. So <laughs> there's going to be a ton of pro uh, problems and glitches and bugs. And we just... All we can do is just do the best we can. And, and we I am seeing improvements over time. You have a D on Social Blade. Well, I have a D plus. 
so don't feel bad. <laughs> a D is better than a D minus. I'll tell you that. I started with a C minus and now I'm a D plus. <laughs> but I'll tell you this: on my other platforms, I'm like an F or like a D minus. So. So if anybody wants to get in touch with TikTok, um, reach out to privacy at TikTok.com, privacy at TikTok.com, um, but expect to wait more than a month to get a response. So they're very slow. Don't expect them to reply in an hour or a day or, a week, or even a week. Set your expectations to one to two months to get a reply, but um, people are telling me they do, they do reply. So if you're interested in having a red border, um, I'm using multi-stream, so I'm actually I'm actually streaming this through OBS on my computer. I'm using a st I'm using a platform called Lula.tv to stream to. Uh, maybe I need to reach out to them for a sponsorship. What do y'all think? Got 60 people in here potentially going to buy their software, but um, Lula.tv Lula.tv allows you to stream to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. And they have a little thing where you can throw a little quick banner at the top. And uh, whether and, and I can use this platform or I can do that in OBS. Make sense? I see some new people saying hi. What's going on? Uh, let's see. Who is this? Uh, Mr. Alex, what's going on? Miles, what's up? Miles the trainer. All right. Do I think certain colors of text attract more view retention? Well, that's a good question, actually. It's not something I thought of before, but I bet that, you know, um, if you're making a video for women, or or maybe, let's just say, you're, you're going after the, young, the younger, grammar, geez, I can't speak today. You're going after the younger demographic, the 12 to 14 year old girl. Um, would you think that a better color would be dark green or pink? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that that actually can play a role if you're trying to draw draw somebody in. Think about who they are, what colors they might like. Pink and purple for younger girls might do will probably do better than dark green and gray. <laughs> so, maybe that maybe all this gray is why I have a lot of older people. And by the way, I've been kind of polling my chat to see like what the rough average age is. So, why don't you if you feel comfortable with it, type your age into the chat. I'm just curious about my demographic. Um, if you could type your age into the chat, if you don't mind, I know some of the, some of the women don't like to share that, but, uh, just curious because last time I did this, there was only two people who were under 18. Mr. Alex is 11. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But, but Mr. Alex is on Twitch saying that. Interesting. All right. We got 21, 24, 29, 20, 27, 16. Cool. 45, 13, hey Hug Knuckles, 17, 21, 21, okay, 28 from Portugal, what's up from Portugal, 39, hey, Rick asks, views die after 1 p.m., is this normal? Well, if you go into analytics and then you go over to your followers tab, you can kind of see the ebb and flow of your follower and who's around at what time and so yeah I mean uh, for me I kind of see the same thing especially yesterday I don't know if y'all if y'all got this yesterday my account felt like it fell off a cliff and I'm like god did I get myself banned with these reposts I'm a little worried because <laughs> I've done four uh, reposts of my old viral vids and uh, I don't know my account felt like it fell off a cliff yesterday, but I think I'm all right. I think it was just a bad day. I've had a, I've had you know bad days happen. Paolo says produce stream material in 4K. Would that make any difference in capturing people's eyes? Yeah, I think we're all attracted to a higher quality um, video. Um, what I don't know is how much down processing um, TikTok does in order to host um, to make everything work like I don't know and I would imagine you know the bigger your account is the more leeway you have with higher quality video like Charlie probably has everything and I'm, I'm just I'm just guessing 
I don't know for sure, but I, w I would imagine if that is the case, then, you know, Charlie and them would have, um, I don't want to say 4K, but, like, they probably have the higher quality video. But it, it just seems, like, stunning how good looking some of these videos are that you see on the For You page. Um, and then you see some of the people struggling. It's like, it doesn't look so good. So, um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the uh the file type and and the size and the 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 video quality is. It's a good question though, something to think about. I can't see other people talking in chat says Mr. Alex. So yeah, I'm multi-streaming. I'm on TikTok. Most of the chat is happening on TikTok right now. So if you're not following if you're in my Twitch and you're not following me on TikTok, it's at Jeff Caret. Uh it'd be it'd be kind of cool to get away get a um Get the stream on the thing so people can see what's going on. What's going on, Johnny, from YouTube? All right, Andy asks, why views go up really fast when a video is uploaded like one to two and then stop and not a single view? So the way TikTok works is, um, and it's, it's actually getting slower. Like I, if you saw my video yesterday, it kind of explains the different ebbs and flows. It, it used to It used to go up really, really fast and then just stop. Now it's more of a natural progression that can kind of trickle in over time a little bit more. But it's still, yeah, like every video that we post has a shelf life. Um, so it's going to be first shown to your most relevant people, like your followers and people who are really interested in the hashtags you used. And then it's going to get shown to to more and more uh, l less relevant. And then eventually it's going to be so irrelevant that it, the views just stop. And then they're going to be, and then the algorithm is going to be like, all right, well, we're just not going to show this to anybody anymore. And then boom, your videos. I don't want to say done. There's a potential for a delayed explosion, but for the most part, your video is done. Um, and then, um, and that's why we want to be posting a lot of content. I, you know, I get so disheartened when somebody is is trying to get into that TikTok frame of mind, and they have they have a decent video, and then their video falls off a cliff. Even even at like tens of thousands of views, and the videos the the views just stop. And then they're like, oh, this sucks, man. I thought I was, I, I don't know. I guess they thought they were going to get millions of views or something, and then they didn't. And then um, and then they just stopped posting. Or they post like one, and they're like, oh, well, this next post only got 300. This sucks. And then they, well, no, you really, you want to, it's like a spray and play, pr spray, <laughs> spray and play, okay, hold on. Spray and pray platform. Um, so you just want to be getting a lot of content out there. You never know what it's going to do. It's almost like, uh, if you've ever gambled at a casino playing the slot machine, you know, pull, pull, pull. Um, even if they're all equal pulls, only some of them are going to go viral. And it's it's so hard to predict which ones will go viral um, um, that you might just want to just put out a lot of quality. Like, I don't want to say put out bad quality, but put out stuff that you're 80 to 90% happy with and um, that you're somewhat proud of, mostly proud of. And then you'll have success, you know. You never know which one's going to go viral. Don't get don't get too uh, mentally invested in any single video, I don't think. Um, but every once in a while, you know, go swing for the fences, but don't expect it to do well. You know what I'm saying? Just because you put a lot of effort into something doesn't mean it's entertaining. How much should you post per day? I recommend four or more. Four or more quality posts per day. You know, I know that's not going to be possible for a lot of people, especially if your stuff is... Um, really hard to produce, but let's be honest. Most of the people in here are not doing Zach King style videos that take a day to plan, a day to shoot, a day to edit. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you're making quick 30, 30 to 5 minute videos, what's your excuse to not post 5 times a day? I mean, you're talking... Considering how real this opportunity is, it's probably the best opportunity I've seen since I've been in digital marketing for like 20 years. Um, I think that 30 minutes a day is not that much. Okay, Jessica's throwing her hat into the mix for a I'm Very Rich. We got to share with some pandas. Mama Doogie, Mama Dougie, Mama Dougie, IBR. Oh, yeah, by the way, in case you can't see the big red bar at the top, um, Top Gifter gets an account review on my main channel. Top three get a follow, and I'll DM you some tips. But only the top gifter will be on my channel in front of my 65,000 people seeing their content. 
And one thing I've been doing is asking my community to also give tips in the comments. My thought is you can kind of interact with them and then make some friends. They'll probably come follow you at that point, and then you'll have some people you can maybe collaborate with and, and, and um, who can keep an eye on you and your content going forward. So, I'm, you know, I am, I am trying to build a real community here of people who support each other, not, not in a follow-for-follow follow way, but like people who make friends um, and find people who are also trying to grow like in, their, in and around their same niche. Isabella, does the hashtag FYP and hashtag for you page actually work? No, I don't think it works. I don't think it does much of anything. In fact, um, I think the argument can be made that it hurts you because it takes a valuable real estate in your um, in your description area where you could put something that is relevant or something maybe like a call to action. So I do not recommend using hashtag FYP or hashtag for you page or anything um, like uh, XYC, whatever, XYZ, CBA, whatever that one is. What do I think of TikTok cults? <laughs> what? <laughs> TikTok cults. What is it? Wait, somebody said, somebody said in my comments yesterday, join my cult. Is that what they were talking about? What is it? All right. What is a TikTok cult? Is this something that I need to know about? Is that, is that like a way of saying like a gang or a group? I'm looking in the comments. Nobody's saying anything about these cults. What is going on with these cult these cults, man? Nobody can nobody has an answer for me? Oh wait. Alright, Crystal. Yeah, I've seen the step chickens cult. What okay, what is the cult? <laughs> step chickens. <laughs> That's a pretty funny name, I'll say. Mandy, tips on description. Yeah. Fill it up with relevant well fill it up with relevant hashtags. If you're really struggling for relevant hashtags, um Well here's my format. Uh, like a like a little blurb of text. And if I can, I'll implement a hashtag into it. But like, let's just say I'm I'm doing a video about delayed explosion, the TikTok delayed explosion. So I'll say, um, here's what you need to know about a hashtag delayed explosion. And then I'll say something like, you know, hashtag post not dead, hashtag post growing after dying, or like just whatever whatever pops into my head, I'll I'll throw it in. Rainbow puke, Jessica with a rainbow puke, Mama Dougie. Oh my goodness. All right, let me try to add these up. Let's see, one, two, three. I'm, my beard is awesome. Thank you, Zane. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve rainbow pukes. Johnny, because of you, I have been uploading weekly on YouTube short videos, but I know eventually it will pay off. Posting on Instagram is TikTok. A good idea too. So this is awesome. We got somebody on. We got somebody on YouTube who doesn't know about TikTok. You don't. TikTok is where you need to be, my friend. That's my opinion. And I told my kids this yesterday too. They're doing Roblox role plays. And they wanted to go to YouTube, and I said, I think y'all should be on TikTok. It's hard to grow on. Um, it's uh, it's a lot harder to grow on YouTube. It's possible for sure. Don't get me wrong. It's possible. But the only people who are really having success on YouTube are people who are, like, creating the best quality content. There's a lot of people having success on TikTok with average, and sometimes even below average content. So so they're switching. They're, they're going over to TikTok. Um, so here's the pros and cons of TikTok compared to other platforms. The pros are you get a lot of discoverability. Um you can go viral in your very first or, or top, you know, f when's the last time you heard somebody go viral who, who was unknown on YouTube with their first video? Like, yeah, it happens, but it's super rare. Let's be honest. Everybody who knows somebody who uploads to YouTube, they're, they're struggling. But I bet you everybody here knows somebody on TikTok who's having success, like in, like in real life. Like, I'm not talking like necessarily going viral, but like a decent amount of, respectable amount of followers. It's just so hard to grow on YouTube. So, Anybody who's trying to grow on YouTube, I would say put 80% of your effort toward TikTok. And then once you have a, an audience on um, on TikTok, you can push them over to your YouTube, which is what I'm doing right now. My, my YouTube is now growing way faster than it was before, and I'm barely pushing it. 
Now, I, you know, of course, I, I built up an, uh, a following of 65,000 people here on TikTok, but still. Um, if I would have just been grinding on YouTube, I would probably be further behind where I am right now. And let's be honest, it takes way more time to create a YouTube video. Uh, Geeky Lashes. It took me five years to get 7K on YouTube. It took me forever. Here is much better. Yeah. Um, a lot of people get 7K on TikTok in a matter of months. We're, we're talking years on YouTube. And it's a lot more work. I post six, six times a day. Is that too much? Isabella asks on TikTok. Well, it's only too much if you're not getting... Um, if you're not getting results, right? And take a really good hard look at what's going on with your analytics and seeing are people watching to the end or are they not? And if they're not, it's like, well, maybe my quality needs to be a little bit higher. So if, if you want to maybe bump down the amount of, like I, I'm totally cool with bumping you down from six to five or six to four if you put that same amount of time into making your other videos better. Whether it's doing some additional research to see what else is out there before you publish and be like, oh, well, I had this, I thought I had this great idea. It looks like about 500 people have already done that. So while I thought it was original, maybe it's not original at all. And in fact, I'm probably um, around average or slightly below average with the way that I was going to execute it. Well, now you know that. And you wouldn't have known that if you hadn't taken some time to do that research. Does that make sense? So that's that's kind of something that you can do to improve the quality. It's like, okay, now I need to be a little bit more creative. What can I do that none of these people have done yet? Um, the, but that's also in my niche. Make sense? How you doing, Malin? Malin? Malinus. Oh, yeah. I think I did a review on you recently. Uh, Andy, do, I know, do you know if there is a daily upload limit? After about six posts, vids get zero views. Um... I don't think so. But you could be maybe being suppressed just because there's just so many different ways you could be being, you know, just any community guidelines. And if TikTok feels like you are like posting garbage, like straight up garbage content for whatever reason, it might just be like people aren't watching any, like they're only watching like 10% of it and they're f clipping away or 20, like. That could be a, that could be something that um, that potentially gets you suppressed. So I would definitely enable promote if you haven't already. Keep an eye on your analytics and make sure people are watching to the end. Jessica, Mama Dougie, IVR, I see you. Did tic TikTok change its algorithm? Says Kate. Um, it seems to be the biggest thing I've noticed this, uh, instead of being like a sharp, you know, burst of views and then a stop, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a slow trickle. I mean, it's not a major difference, but I have noticed more of a difference. Uh, and then yesterday, everything just felt totally different once again. So like, you know, this algorithm is going to change and we're, we're not going to really know. We're going to have some ideas about what's going on. What's up, Bonesy? But the biggest thing is, if we f if we can change our focus to content and, and creating and publishing the best content that we can and not worrying so much about the little algorithm changes that happen on a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever basis, um, just focus on creating good content, putting it out there. I think we'll all be fine. Um, if y you can really drive yourself nuts trying to fully understand the algorithm, which is arguably impossible because we never really know, in fact, there's a webinar, and I, I have the webinar from TikTok. Um, I probably am going to, if there's enough demand, I'll put it up on my YouTube channel. Um, but I'll warn you, the uh, the audio, it's kind of not that great, just because um, one of my community members grabbed it, and he did it in a way where um, the audio is just not being picked up in the best way. So it's kind of, uh, but my point is, all these people who actually work for TikTok, the way they were describing the, the algorithm made it seem like they didn't really understand it that well. So if actual TikTok employees don't understand the TikTok algorithm, what chance do we have? 
So getting back to my point, if we focus on our content, we don't have to worry so much about, um, you know, you can totally have success just not fully understanding the algorithm. And that's my point. Um, so just focus on good content and focus on keeping an eye on your analytics. That's probably the best things that we can be doing. And, and you know, interact with your community. A lot of, there was this push like two weeks ago of people who were just like, well, if I, I noticed if I close the app after I post for two hours and I open it up, I get a lot more views. Well, yeah, because all those views accumulated <laughs> while the app was closed. Um, but, the, you know, they felt like they got more views than when they didn't. But at the same time, it's like, well, you're kind of hurting yourself because all those people who are um, coming on, they're, they're typing first and second and third and early and high. They want to hear from you. Like, their their mind is blown when you say hi back. At least that's how it is for me right now. And the, the bigger you grow, the more shocked they are that you actually reply. Um, and, but I was also getting at a, at a couple thousand followers every once in a while, too. Like, oh, you actually reply. That's awesome. Um, and in fact, some kid told me yesterday in my comments, I can't, you're the only person who ever replies to me. It's like, what? You know what I mean? I, I think you. When you post your next 30 minutes to an hour, you should reply to almost every single comment. Like, let's be honest. Nobody's getting that many comments where they can't. Um, but I understand. You know, some people are at work. They can't be sitting on their phone. Uh, I get that. But if you are at all able and capable, you should be replying to every single comment that comes through in that first hour. And then post again. <laughs> As a reminder, uh, the top gifter will get a um, an account review on my main channel. Uh, top three will get a follow, and I'll DM you some some custom tips. With the, uh, basically, the the top three things I think you need to be focusing on in order to grow. Nicola asked, "What happened yesterday?" I, for me, my my views just my views and and new followers just kind of felt like they they fell off a cliff, um, but. I've been on this platform long enough that, that, like, just keep going. Like, you can't control what's going on. I, I don't think I'm shadow banned. I don't think I'm getting suppressed. I think it was just kind of a bad day. Um, but I'll tell you this. If this if this keeps up, I'm going to be thinking that reposting my old videos. I reposted four of my old videos over the last week or so. Uh, if this continues, I'm going to think there may be some kind of correlation with that. Kelly, do y'all think that posting more than seven times a day is effective? It, yeah, it, it certainly can be if it's all high quality. If it's all uh, boring content for your target audience, then no. So just make sure your execution is good and your ideas are good. Why would reposting old videos hurt you? Well, it's kind of like, well, for, you know, the, aside from the server resources that we're using to upload the same video twice, um and i and i think eventually it's probably going to be like if you upload the exact same video to youtube twice it says well this video is already on here so i think they i think I, they actually automatically remove it so i think we're eventually going to see that happen i got you uh donnie at that concert um so you're using up server resources you're kind of confusing the algorithm um, it's just kind of awkward to have reposts, um, but at the same time, if it's if it's working, then why not do it? So I'm I'm still experimenting with it, um, but I'll tell you this: I I reposted four videos, and the fourth one is new. But out of the first three, two of them went to the for you page and got a whole bunch of views. Now I'm not saying they went viral like they did initially, getting millions of views, but they got definitely above average views from my channel. Um, and then the third one went to the For You page a little bit, but it got slightly below average views. It's like, okay. Um, and then the fourth one, we'll see, but it, it looks like it's above average views. So, uh, What do I think of the new beauty filter? I am beautiful naturally, so I haven't messed with it yet. Call Me Ass says, what if I re-upload a vid with the TikTok watermark? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I just throw it up with the watermark and all. Some people take the time to remove it. Um, is 1.2 million views viral? I would say so, especially if you only have like a couple thousand followers. 
I say only. A couple thousand followers is a lot. People sleep on a couple thousand followers. Like Two years ago, people would kill for 2,000 followers on YouTube. <laughs> How important is lighting? Lighting is huge. Like I think... I'm going to go on a limb here and say visuals are probably the number one thing that draws people into a TikTok. So if you're struggling, I would I would actually call 80k viral as well, Bonesy. If you only have if you only normally get like let's say you have, you have a couple hundred followers and you get 80k, that could be some level of virality for sure. IVR from Mama Dougie. That's what's up. That's three IVRs for you and 12 rainbow pukes. If I am calculating that correctly. Call me Ash. I'd like to thank you. You're really the best on here. That means a lot. I appreciate that. And uh, and, and you know, it's it's those kind of comments that that help me stay on my path. There's been a bunch of times where I see people who um, who are kind of doing what I do, and but then they 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 switch it up where they're doing like the five, like they're just doing these videos that are designed to appeal to like. Um, like eight year olds, I don't know, just like, it's just these like, they're pandering to the platform, they're pandering to where it works on the platform. Um, and you know, I do that a little bit, like I try to implement that into my content, but the whole point of my channel is to help as many people gain a following on TikTok as I can before this opportunity dries up. Like that's my thing. And I, I don't want to divot from that a little bit. Now y'all have been seeing me post a little bit more personal stuff. So it's because I'm adopting an 80% niche, 20% experiment, or have fun with. So y'all are going to see me every fifth or sixth pose do something that I, I just feel like doing. And it may not be in my niche. Like yesterday I did the the little basketball. Sorry, I get the hiccups. Last night I did the little basketball thing. I'm having fun. I'm having fun hanging out with y'all. Y'all got some good questions. Um, Italian hands from Mama, Mommy Mouse. Appreciate that. Nicola says, "I noticed the content views dropped yesterday. I noticed that too. I was I felt like uh, I felt like my views had dropped suddenly. So I, as long as I'm not the only one, I'm not going to worry too much about it. It could have just been everybody. And then, you know, I scrolled through the for you page, and it was very different than normal. Like a lot of times, I get a lot of like skateboarding videos because I I love to watch skateboarding on TikTok. It's one of the things that I always like to see. Um, you know, it just it just looked like very." I don't know. It's like these these huge budget videos that was on my for you page yesterday. So I don't know if they're trying to. It, you know, it felt like more like if you go to YouTube and you go into the trending. That's kind of that's kind of how the for you page for for me felt yesterday. Like it wasn't for me. It was more like for the masses. So I don't know if they were like experimenting or what, but something did not feel right yesterday. And it looked like I'm not the only one. It was very. Did you notice that too, Des J? How many drafts do I have? About four. About four. How many do you have? Uh, content you don't need says same. I'm always amazed with skateboarding videos, right? Dude, skateboarding and, and TikTok, that's like the perfect combo because you, you see that little five, ten second trick and move on, right? Skateboarding. Do y'all like skateboarding on here and like snowboarding? Yeah, it looks like I wasn't alone yesterday. All right, I, I, got, to, uh, I got to end this in about five minutes. Uh, we got a busy day. Uh, I do love hanging out with y'all, but uh, we got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to set that infamous Alexa. Start a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Starting now. When this timer ends, the stream is going to be over. I'm going to tally up all of the gifters. And again, the winner will receive a um, an account review on my main channel. I'll give you the top three things I think you specifically need to be focusing on. And then everybody in my community is going to see it, uh, or at least the people who it comes across on their on their on their page. And then on top of that, the top three is going to get a follow from me, and I will go in and DM you some the top three tips based on what I think you need to be doing to grow. So um, we got four minutes and twenty five seconds to get those in. Last chance. Uh, Andy, does deleting videos really hurt your account? I think that deleting a video um, could hurt your account. We don't know for sure, so just private to be safe. That's my recommendation. Fridays seem to be best for posting, says Jessica. Um, right now, in the pandemic, 
Um, you know, I feel like every day is great for posting. Like everybody's, especially most of TikTok is kind of home all day. They have some, they have more free time. Um, when we get back to the school schedule, I think we'll see a little bit more about what we can expect going forward. Um, I haven't personally noticed a big uptick on Friday. Have has anybody else? Uh, Bonesy, what do you do with all those drafts? I just make videos in advance and post them a couple hours apart. Well, anything that's in my drafts is not in my drafts because I'm like scared to post it. It's just kind of like an idea that I haven't. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Like when I have an idea, I'll just start creating a draft so I will remember it later. And sometimes I decide later that those drafts are a bad idea or just weren't um, to the quality standards that I'm trying to do. Um, not just in terms of like production quality, just the idea wasn't there. All right, three minutes left, y'all. Three minutes. Sun cream, think gel. Appreciate that. Jessica says Sundays are my worst days for posting. Gotcha. Andy, why would they give us the delete feature and then punish it for us? Look, I I don't know that they definitely punish us for it. They could, um, but just in case, why not just private it? Desk J, have you seen the new TikTok Live feature? Uh, do you mean the one that I'm using right now? Is there something new? Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, saying top lives and notifications, it keeps coming up and disappearing. Okay. I haven't seen that, I guess. What would I consider bad quality content? At the end of the day, bad quali quality content, in my opinion, is something that gets a bad average view duration percentage. The way to figure that out, you need to have pro mode enabled. I've got several TikToks about this, but you need to have pro mode enabled, go to the video, share, analytics, and then um, basically you're comparing your average view time with the with the length, like the, like the time length of the video. And so if it's 50%, that's a bad quality video. If it's 100%, whether or not it looks good, that's a good video. If it's more than 100%, that's a very good video. So that's probably the number one thing I would be looking at to try to determine whether or not it's a good video, like attention. IVR from Mama Dougie. All right, one minute left, one minute and 18 seconds left. How did you put those banners on your live? I'm using a platform called lula.tv. That's L-O-O-L-A.tv. It allows you to stream to multiple platforms. Um, and I had to I had to pay for some extra benefits like um, getting rid of the watermark. But there is a free version available. Panda from Jamie, what's up? All right, 50 seconds left. Um, let me get one more question. Okay, okay, Donnie. Panda, Italian hand. What's up? <laughs> All right, last question, last question. Let's see. Uh, do you ever have issues losing editing you did in a draft? Um, no, actually, I haven't had that. All right, last chance for gifts. Last chance for gifts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, that's going to do it. If y'all haven't already... Go to my TikTok bio and download the uh, the TikTok growth guide. It's free. It's got all my best tips on there. I'm going to go ahead and tally up all of the gifts, and I appreciate that from all of y'all. Alexa, stop the alarm. If y'all won, I'm going to uh, DM you and let you know if you were in the top three. And uh, y'all go out there and create some awesome content. I can't wait to.